Would you like free trail maps to use on your Garmin GPS device? Stay tuned because I'm going to show you how easy it is. If you enjoyed today's video, subscribe for more webcacher content. A lot of people buy a handheld GPS device for outdoor activities such as hiking or biking or even boating. Me, I bought mine for geocaching, a high-tech treasure hunt where people use GPS coordinates to find hidden containers. I know when I bought my Garmin handheld GPS device, I couldn't believe how accurate it was. Honestly, I fell in love with this thing. But there was just one problem. The default maps on the GPS, they're very basic. In fact, they're mostly just roads. I bought this GPS with the intention of being in the woods a lot. And while I do appreciate the road maps, wouldn't it be nice if the GPS had trail maps also? So it turns out there is a way to get trail maps onto your GPS, using the maps from a website called OpenStreetMap.org. What makes OpenStreetMap so interesting is that it's a collaborative map site that anyone can contribute to. Think of it sort of like Wikipedia, but instead of information and encyclopedia entries, it's for maps. And although the name of the website is OpenStreetMap, trail maps are frequently available as seen here in the red dotted lines. Even Google Maps often lacks trail maps. Look at this area in OpenStreetMaps. Now, look at it again in Google Maps. You'll notice that in Google Maps, there's no trails. So in this regard, sometimes OpenStreetMap is a better map. Best of all, there's a free, fast, and easy way to get all of the maps, including the trail maps, from OpenStreetMap onto a Garmin handheld GPS device. Here's how. Okay, so before we go over the steps, I have to go over this quick disclaimer that says that you do this at your own risk. If you mess up your GPS or void your warranty or anything like that, then that's on you, it's not on me. Okay, with that being said, here's the steps. Step number one, go to the website extract.bbbike.org. So your first step is to open your favorite web browser, whether it's Google Chrome or Firefox or Safari, and go to the website extract.bbbike.org. And at least at the time of this video, the website should look like this. Now, I know some of you are probably saying, wait a minute, I thought you said this is openstreetmap.org. Well, you can actually look at openstreetmap.org to look at the maps, but this is one of the websites that you can use to actually get the maps onto your GPS. Both OpenStreetMap.org and Extract.BBBike.org are linked to in the description below. Step number two, pick the maps that you want. Where do you want maps from? Where are you going to be that you're actually going to be using your GPS? Let's pretend for a moment that you're going on a trip to Orlando, Florida in the United States. Maybe that is a hiking trip or a geocaching trip, but you know that you're going to want maps for your Garmin handheld device. So if we look over here to the left, there's a box that says the name of the area to extract or to search. If we click on that search bar, we can actually type in Orlando, Florida, and hit enter and we're going to get some options and I'm going to click here on the first one and sure enough what we get is smack dab in the middle of Orlando Florida now what is the map actually going to look like on your GPS to see that what you want to do is click on this little plus sign on the right and then click OSM map neck okay so now let's pretend that while it's nice to have maps of this downtown Orlando area, you're going to be in an area much larger. So let's zoom out to see more of the state of Florida because maybe we're actually going to be traveling southwest towards the Tampa area or we're going to be traveling northeast towards Daytona Beach. The next step is to go over to the left where it says then click here to create the bounding box. Click that here button and you'll see this orange box appear. If you click it, it turns blue and there are these two circles, one in the center and one on the bottom right. Here's the important thing. Everything in this box 
is what you're going to get a map for. And so that middle circle, by clicking on it, you can actually drag it around, and then the circle on the bottom right allows you to resize the box. If you need a different map shape, there's an option to do that. On the left, there's this option that says Add Points to Polygon. Click that and then double click on your box and you'll see all of these circles appear around the border. And if you drag those around, you can actually change the shape of your defined area that you can receive maps for. So for example, if I'm going up here to the north into Gainesville, I can take this circle and stretch it up here and I'll be sure to get those maps as well. Step number three, download the map file. Once you have your defined map area, no matter what the shape is, there's a few more steps you'll need to take to download the file. The first is actually the file format. So there's a Dropbox up here on the left, and the default is not the one you want to choose. If you scroll down, you'll see this section that are all Garmin options. You want to choose the one that says Garmin Leisure Latin 1. The file is actually going to be emailed to you in the form of a link. So you're going to have to enter your email address as well. I'm typing in mine, but I'm also blocking it out for my own privacy. Once all those are chosen, you want to click the extract button. You'll receive this confirmation page that tells you how long it will take to generate your map. Here, it says that it'll take two to seven minutes. On average, I would say it's somewhere between five and 10 total. Okay, so it's been a few minutes and my email has arrived. If you try this method and you don't get an email in over 10 minutes, check your junk email folder or your spam folder because chances are the email will be there. One of the very first things in this email is always going to be a download link. If you click that, you start downloading your map file to your computer. The fourth and final step, add the map file to your GPS. Using the USB cord, connect your GPS to your computer. When your Garmin is attached to your computer, a window will open. This is the internal memory of your Garmin device. Now it's also important to note where you downloaded the zip file from bbbike.org. In my case, it's on my desktop. So open that file and then also open the next folder. Now let's actually go back to the Garmin and open the folder that says Garmin. These are all the files that are currently on your Garmin device. And now what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to reposition the windows because we wanna take this GMAPS up file and you can see that it's actually listed as a disk image file. And what we're gonna do is actually drag that over right into that folder, that Garmin. And so it's gonna load. And now if we scroll down, we can actually see it. And I always suggest renaming it where it's from. So in this case, we're gonna type in Orlando. If you've added a micro SD card to your Garmin, I'm going to show you how to put the maps directly onto the micro SD card. When you attach a Garmin that has a micro SD card inside of it to your computer, two windows will actually pop up. The first is actually your Garmin's internal memory. But what's interesting is that the second is actually the micro SD card listed as a USB device. The next step is to create a folder. So go to new, and then folder, and we want to name it Garmin, capital G-A-R-M-I-N. Open up that folder, and then also you wanna open up the folder that contains the file that you were emailed from bbbike.org. Find that GMAPS up file, and drag it over to that folder that you created. And after it loads, I highly recommend that you rename the file from wherever the map is from. To enable and disable maps on your Garmin, go to the Garmin's main menu, followed by Setup, Map, and then Map Information. Are you going to try this process? Have you already tried this process? And if so, did it work for you? What are you going to be using these maps for? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Until next time, this is Matt from Webcasher.